Right, so today's Windows 10 video is brought to you by that enterprise thing. Um, <clears throat> yes. Okay, shut up. That's enough of that. Um, so, uh, day two of uh, Windows 10 preview. Thoroughly like it. Uh, it's just brilliant. Massive improvement over uh, Windows 8 and Windows 7. The start button is back. I'm really getting into the fact that I can run my little Windows, my Windows 8 applications in Windows form on the desktop. Um, for us IT pros, get a big thumbs up so far. Having one recurring problem though, which is with using my VPN connections. So here's a customer's VPN connection. This one happens to be the Cisco AnyConnect client. When I try and connect, I'm getting this really annoying error message. Failed to initialize connection subsystem. Um, whether I go wireless or whether I go plugged into the ethernet, whatever I do, it gives me a big but I have found a solution through reading various websites. Um, and basically, what we have is that Internet Explorer, good old Internet Explorer, used to have an online and offline mode. Um, but with IE, is it 11 they're on now? Or whatever comes with uh, Windows 10, it's always offline. So until you actually do something to go online, I don't know what that is, uh, Windows thinks you're offline. Hence, it just really, really upsets the uh, client. Whenever I connect, I just get this failed to initialize connection subsystem. Rah! But there's a solution, which is to hack the registry, and it's really simple. So we have this key here where you go to current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, internet settings, and there's this value, global user offline. And we just have to add that value with a value of one. So let's jolly well do it. So to do that, we just go to the start button and we're gonna run regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. There she blows, regedit exe, which is registering our, uh, editing our registry. Um, as you can see, so I've already started from H current user on the software, Microsoft Windows current version internet settings so here's all our internet settings now all I have to do is add a new key and the value for that key is global user offline now, unfortunately because I pasted it in it's put the whole key in I don't want all of that stuff so the value for this entry is just going to be global user offline now You'll notice that when I select it, it just has one entry in there under global user offline, and the default, the value is not set. Hey, of course it's not set, we just added it. So let's put a value of one, which is what seems to work for me. So if we just put a value of one in there, in global user offline, and close up the uh, reg edit, it takes a few seconds for it to get into uh, Windows brain. And if I just then go down and click on connect, Ta da it asked me for my username and password and I can now key that stuff in and uh, log in so uh, yes problem solved hopefully it'll, this is the very this is day two of uh, Windows 10 previews hopefully it'll be fixed better going forward but for right now it's time to log in and have my first coffee of the day